tutorial today we're going to be showcasing a metal mega script now the script is in my description so I'm going to do is copy paste it into your site maps you don't need to use site maps I think you can use any other free one but I'm I currently use site maps now what you need to do is copy paste it but it doesn't work right away you need to do a couple of things I will show you what you need to do it's very easy and simple now I have this this is in my description all you need to do is copy paste it after you copy paste it you gotta attach it it's already attached for me you have to execute after I see it's going to take a while, but bam, it's going to show up Simple Spy. All you need to do is double tap W, run, copy the first action, and after that you're done with Simple Spy. You want to open up a different tab. This could be Notepad or anything. I just do it here on script because it's fast. And you want to paste it. After you paste it, you want to look at the one. You want to copy from before the equal sign all the way to before this comma. After that, you want to copy. Go over to the first one. And you want to space after the equal sign by space. You want to put in the thing you just copied. So control V. After that, you need to do this for every time you launch into a server. If you use this one for another server, it's not going to work. Just do it every time. It's very fast and simple. After that, you can execute and close your site maps. This is the script right here. It says extra, little monitor. Now we're going to explain each of these three different things. We're going to start with farms now. Farms is kind of complicated. There's some things that work, some things that don't work. I didn't make this script. Uh, the guy that made the script is over here. Mike, this is Discord. Uh, personally, I wouldn't, you know, talk to him. I don't ever talk to him. There's no point. It's like, just leave the guy alone, you know. This is more than enough. So, we're going to start up to down, explaining what each things do, how they work, if they work, my experiences with them. Now, the first thing we're going to show you is the auto jobs. Um, auto jobs I think only works with site maps so if you're using any free executor I don't think that would work now about auto jobs it only works the first time on a server I can use it but if I try to use it again if I disrupt the thing and if I try to use it again it will not work so it only works the first time you want to go up near the drop board and click that button it will automatically go and it will get the restock job any other jobs it will cancel until it gets the restock job it will go do the restock job and do it again over and over again but if someone does come and beat you up um, it will stop it, it will just stop and we won't continue after that so we're gonna show you how it does the restock job real quick and there we go it just finished one cycle of the job now after it does this it will go back and keep doing the job again. It will recycle through the jobs and get the restock job and keep doing it again. Now, if you disrupt this job cycle by running around or anything, if you try to use it again, it will not work. It will fumble around. It may get a job, but it's not going to go back. It will delete it, but it won't go back. It's just really buggy. It won't work. Now, on to the second list is strike speed training. Um... This doesn't work that well. If it works for you, it's, you know, good for you. It doesn't really work that well. I personally don't use it. If I want to uh, increase my strike speed training, I'd rather use a micro than this. Because it just doesn't work that well. It bugs out. It's just not that good. Now onto the second one, auto treadmill. Same as strike speed training. Um, actually, not really the same. I've never, this has never worked for me. Strike speed spending has worked sometimes. Auto treadmill has never worked for me. It just it doesn't work. So maybe if it works for you, it, it just didn't work for me. Now on to the fourth one, which is auto train. Now auto train is extremely useful. There are two that are extremely useful in this. Auto train can be used to give you infinite uh running. You can run forever with this. Now auto train is very simple. All you need to do is click it. And it will automatically drain your stamina bar, make you sweat, and, you know, train your stamina. Now, what it does is it tricks the game into thinking you're running, and running gives you stamina, or jogging, I think. I'm not sure which one it is, but it just gives you stamina. Now, when you have this on, your body fatigue will go down, um, so you might want to watch out. The more body fatigue you have, the more damage you take. Um, now, how to run infinitely with this? It's very simple. 
you need a little bit of timing, but it's just really simple. When your bar goes down, all you do is start running. And by the time it reaches all the way to the bottom, it will go up even though you're still running. This will work forever. You can keep on going. Um, so that's, that's how you run infinite with this. The only downside is you will gain body fatigue. There is a second way to run infinitely, which I'll show you guys later on in the video. That works way better than this. So running forever. That's that. Now we have auto road work. This is one that again, it's like the spike speed. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's based on your luck. Again, this is something that I wouldn't use. I would just use one of the two running techniques and just run forever and do the road works. Even if the road work were to use, um, you walk, so it's just a really, it's a waste of time. I'd rather run and do it. Now onto the second tab, which is training. Training is very useful. This is definitely one of the most one I use. It's very nice. So we have squats and push-ups. It's very straightforward. Tools, push-up, slow and fast. It's fast, click the button, this is slow. Same thing with squats, slow, fast. Nothing to it. Now, with this, you don't need to borrow your stamina. When it gets low enough stamina, it will stop and it will resume when your stamina is max. You will not get knocked out from using this. So you are completely safe from yourself. Now, other people, they're free to come up and beat you up. But from yourself, you are safe. As you can see, it's going to start working. Now, we're going on to the third tab, which is uh, miscellaneous. Now, this tab. This tab is very interesting. Um, first thing, let's talk about... Before we get on to auto-eat, let's talk about anti-AFK. Straightforward. It's just anti-AFK. You, you can't get AFK to win this. So, very straightforward. You get the gist. Um, auto-eat. Sipenaps only, very straightforward. If you're near the restaurant, I think it only works with uh, this one, this grocery store, doesn't work with the other one. It will make you, when you get hungry, it will go up, buy only easy tacos, and eat. It only happens when you're close. I won't showcase this because it's kind of a, you just have to trust me. When you're low hunger, it will walk up, buy uh, a taco, and eat. If you're squatting or if you're uh, and doing any type of training, it will stop the train, come eat. If you're close enough, come buy tacos, you can eat, and then it will continue the train. So if you want to AFK that way, that would work. Infinite running. Now, this is this is what I use if I want to infinitely run. Now, again, with the, uh, just like the second one, just like with the uh, auto train stamina, there's a little bit of thing and you do this. So you tap and you start running. Your sound bar will go up and down, up and down. If you do this, you're going to run out of stamina and fall out. So what you need to do, when your stamina bar is going up, you click the button, okay? And this way, you will run forever, and your stamina bar will not go down. So even if you get interrupted, someone starts fighting you, your stamina bar will always stay full, 100%, and your body fatigue will not go down. So right now, the game doesn't even know that I'm running. So you can trick the game to thinking you're running into... Check the game. Make it, it makes you think that you're not running when you really are. So, um, I've had a fatigue and I'll go down. Neither will my stamina. That's uh, what I use for auto run forever. Auto sprint, again, you just click it. It's very straightforward. Just auto sprints for you. I don't know why you would need this. That lazy. You don't want to press a button. Like, god damn it. Okay, auto sprint. Now, we also have auto sleep. Auto sleep, uh, I've never used, really. If you want to sleep. Just go sleep. <laughs> I'll be honest. But what it does, I'm pretty sure, is auto sleeps, I guess. Now, auto eat is also very interesting, although it does not work with all the foods. If it did, it would be really nice. It only works with four foods. Donut, easy taco, hamburger, and rum. Um, again, very straightforward. If you have one of those things in your inventory... When your hunger bar goes down, it will stop whatever you're doing, which is most likely going to be training, and eat 
easy taco until you're not starving anymore. It won't get you down to the point where you're starving. You are going to eat before you're starving to make sure you don't lose any muscle. And with that, that is the end of uh, my little showcase of this script here. If you guys enjoyed, please hit that like button down below. Subscribe. I have a new channel, you know, trying to get them views, trying to grow. Um, that's really it. If you guys want any other videos, Mighty Omega guides or anything, maybe if you guys don't want, if you guys want me to showcase another script for another game, I'll try to find a script for it and you know showcase it so you guys can script and hack on games. You know, so you can get that full experience. That is Kakaro. Good luck.